Ivan Bogovčić teaches art history at the Faculty of Philosophy. He studied in Prague and later received his master's degree and doctorate in Zagreb. The focus of his studies, postcards. The subject of his doctoral dissertation grew out of a hobby but turned into serious academic research. About 15 years ago, he came across a series of postcards of Croatian towns at an antique shop in Prague. He began to look for more of them in Croatia and throughout Europe. Bogovčić went to special fairs and collected several thousand. He became a serious collector and began an unlikely academic undertaking entitled Early Croatian Postcards. They're collected for various reasons which have to do with the nature of the research being conducted, the history of fashion, architecture, urban planning and communication in general. The most valuable postcards are those printed using stone tablets which have some type of decorative element. All of them are rooted in a type of Austro-Hungarian note card. After their introduction in 1869, illustrated versions quickly appeared. The practice was accepted and quickly became a profitable business. Early Croatian postcards show images of tourist locales and resorts such as Opatia and Rijeka. Ivan discovered how they were printed from an 1889 newspaper. It was at this time that the standard motifs of postcards were being formed. The square, the church, the building of historical and cultural significance. But these types of postcards are the least interesting to this scholar. He is drawn to lesser-known locales and a special production technique. Creativity and wit led to the various applications to postcards. Simple springs which would represent the tail of a dog or postcards made with real feathers depicting a bird or postcards with real hair attached to a female figure or ones with a small mirror so between the two there is another ass looking back at you. At the beginning of the 20th century, every European family in good standing had an album of postcards. Among the earliest collectors in Croatia was Baroness Vera Nikolic. She received an album from her mother for Christmas 1901. It is one of the few albums preserved in their entirety. Since collectors vary in their focus of interest, complete albums are difficult to find, but are still interesting to collectors. Ivan has a few albums which are in good condition. He spent a lot of time studying an album put together by Robert Alexander, a bank clerk from Varaždin, during a trip around Europe in 1905. He bought postcards in every city he visited and diligently placed them in this album, calling it My Learning Journey. The city which appears most often in Ivan's journey through the history of the Croatian postcard is Zagreb. His Zagreb collection is huge and quite valuable. Unfortunately, few people get to see it. Since it is enough to fill an entire museum, Dr. Bogovčić hopes that one day he will get to open one in his city.